Hello gang, this is Mock, and I'm here with another video about Sea of Conquest, Pirate War. Let's talk about trinkets, but first, if you like my video, don't forget to like it after watching it, you know, I'll be very grateful. The trinkets are gear for our heroes, and we can get better results with them if we set them right. This video was ready to be released, but with the last update they modified the buffs mainly of the legendary trinkets, plus the new fusion feature to make legendary trinkets from epic ones. Let's see. They can be enhanced and to do it we have two ways. To upgrade them using eternal flame in the sea, which we get by killing sea monsters, disassembling other trinkets, collecting the map incidents, at the cartographer's corner and at trial rewards. Trinkets can be upgraded up to level 80. We also can ascend them by using Souls Teardrops, we should have the same quality of the trinkets and we get them by disassembling trinkets same quality of the ones we want to ascend. So to ascend rare trinkets we need soul teardrops of rare quality. For epic trinkets, epic teardrops and for legendary trinkets, legendary teardrops. That means for this last one you'll need to disassemble legendary trinkets. So you know you'll need to use a lot of cogs on the trinkets. That put us in front of a hard decision. To use the cogs on heroes or trinkets. Well. With the new update the legendary trinkets are now definitely stronger than the epic ones, and some also have special stackable buffs. If we click here at each trinket menu, we will see the ascension of its buffs per each level. Let me introduce you who is sponsoring this video. Paxify is the best, the safest and 100% legit way to buy bundles with great savings. Get regular discounts of 10 to 30% plus special flash deals weekly and give a boost to your game. Hundreds of satisfied customers and top players prove to us how convenient it is. Try Paxify for free and get a welcome bundle zero cost and zero risk. No more limited payment methods. Choose from credit, debit card, Google and Apple Pay or Revolut app for instant payments. For those who love fast progress, Grab up to $400 in bonuses with Crazy First Deposit Deal. With Paxify, your account is 100% safe. So, join now, save money, become the hero of your gang and demolish your enemies. Bind your account to Fund Plus, so it is safe and you're always in control of it. Then you'll be ready to start saving. Ready to do it? Click the link in the description box and start your journey. Between the rare trinkets we have, the bagpipes which increases a 6% the healing effect, up to 12% at max level, suitable for Lulu and Cordelia. For attack heroes we have the Chain Cannonball, increases the attack by 4%, up to 10% at max level. The Two-Handed Spikes, increases the attack by 3% up to 6%, and the impact by 3% up to 6%. The Sword Breaker, increases attack by 3% up to 6% and the armor by 3% up to 6%. The throwing hand axe increases the impact by 12% up to 18%. Impact is the capability to ignore the armor of your enemy. So between these trinkets, you should choose according to your preferences and by looking at your cheap gear attributes, so you can complement them with the ones on the trinkets. Let's see now the epic trinkets. The Life Funnel increases the healing effect by 9% up to 21%, again ideal for Lulu and Cordelia. The Eagle Shield increases the armor by 14% up to 20% and the aggro by 16 up to 40. This one is good for the heroes of your tank ship, such as Ahab and Armstrong. The Balkan Crossbow increases the blazing and droning damage by 9% up to 21%, ideal for heroes like Lester, Ned, Barnacle, Mad Dog, etc. The Tyrant's Hand 
increases attack by 12% up to 18%. And the Drifting Wanderer, Epic Level, increases the blazing damage by 12% up to 24%. Made for Tanaka. This trinket is also at legendary quality, and that one, besides the blazing damage bonus of 18 up to 36%, wielded by a first mate class, when the ship inflicts burning effect 15 times, it will deal a blazing damage equal to 170% of the attack to at most 5 ships of the enemy fleet, up to 350% when maxed out. As the number of hit targets increases, the damage will decrease. The epic trinkets can now be fused when we have two epics at maximum level, thus increasing their power. That way the life funnel can reach up to 30% healing effect. The eagle shield can reach a 50% increase in armor and aggro of up to 88. The Vulcan crossbow can increase the blazing or drowning damage up to 30%. The tyrant's hand an increase of attack up to 30%. The other legendary trinkets are The Golden Rudder Increases armor by 20% up to 50% When it's a captain who wields it, the ship gains advanced and reinforcement every 10 seconds in the battle, which will increase the ship's aggro by 60 up to 120, and reduce the damage received by 7% up to 10% for the following 3 seconds. Perfect for Ahab. The Elixir increases the healing effect by 21% up to 30%. When the ship launches a basic attack, there's a 30% chance that the wielder of the trinket will restore 60 rage up to 120 to one allied ship with the high attack. The effect can be triggered once every 3 seconds. This one is perfect for Cordelia and Lulu. The Spyglass Increases attack by 18% up to 30%. The ship also increases attack by 2.2% up to 4% every 5 seconds in the battle. Stackable up to 3 times and will last until the end of the battle. Good for attack heroes. The Chain of Bombs. Increases blazing and droning damage by 21% up to 30%. Every time the ship inflicts burning or taking on water, there's a 30% chance that the wielder will deal blazing or drowning damage equal to 42% up to 90% of the attack. The effect can be triggered once every 3 seconds. This one is special for blazing and drowning heroes. Let's see the other special legendary trinkets. The Demise Proclamation. Increases critical rate by 18% up to 36%. If it's wielded by a captain class, when the ship kills a target, 200 of Rage will be restored to the ship. Rage is what heroes use to launch their skill attacks. In the meantime, the ship will gain a sharp cutlass bonus and cutthroat damage will be increased by 18% up to 36% for the following 5 seconds. That makes it special for bombs. The Withered Heart Increases artillery damage by 18% up to 36%. If wielded by a captain class, when the ship launches a basic attack against an enemy ship that is vulnerable to artillery damage, there's a 20% up to 50% chance that the ship will launch one additional basic attack. The effect can be triggered at most one time, made for Ophelia. The Undying Oath Increases strategic damage by 18% up to 36%. If the wielder is a captain class, for every 10 strategic damage caused by the ship, increases the strategic damage by 5% up to 8%. The effect is stackable up to 5 times and lasts until the end of the battle. A trinket special for Griffin. The Blood Fang. Increases drowning damage by 18% up to 36%. If the wielder is a gunner, when the ship deals damage to taking on water ships, an additional drowning damage equal to 27% up to 45% of the attack will be dealt. The effect can be triggered at most 2 per second. Made for Adeline. Well guys, I hope this can be helpful for you. As always, join my Discord and follow me in my other social media. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and activate notifications so you know when I upload new content. This is Mok. I wish you all a great day, bye bye.